<laughs> Welcome to Salt Lake City. I'm excited. Today's gonna be a build day. It is a build day, but first, we have something to take care of. Let me go get it. It came literally today from uh, Tennessee. Kentucky. Kentucky. Columbia, Sorry, Kentucky. Kentucky. Hey, I've always wanted a hand forged hammer. I haven't seen it yet. I, I cut open the box here. I was like, oh, we gotta do this on This is film. way more in your wheelhouse, but I'm, yeah, I can see how excited you are and I am excited for you. Let's see this hammer, Steve. Oh. Hmm. Oh, there. Yeah, that is. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. Wow, you can see the, some of the forge marks and like, beautiful. So you got a square around <laughs> in here. Cleaning up the shop. We found so many hammers. I have a problem. So many hammers. So when Steve came and he's like, oh, I got a new hammer, both Kristen and I were like, no more hammers, Steve. I'll give up most of my other hammers <laughs> for this thing. Question for today, answer down below. What's your maker addiction? <laughs> we wanna see what it is. Can't so wait to hear. Comment below. Okay, so we did promise, after all, that today was gonna be a build day. There are a number of YouTube channels that I love. One of them is a guy named Backyard Scientist. He's one of the biggest channels on YouTube. And he did a project a couple of years ago. We'll, uh, we'll leave the link in the description of this video uh, where he cut a glass cylinder in half and then, and then had a little cup of flaming liquid. And uh, offsetting those two halves of that glass cylinder caused this cool fire tornado to spin up. And, uh, and he did it in a couple of different colors. And ever since I saw that video, I have wanted to create a rainbow of fire tornadoes. I want seven fire tornadoes in all the colors of the rainbow. Roy G. Biv. Exactly. Where this particular build involves fire, we can't recommend that anybody try this because there's gonna be a little bit of uh, fire hazard, danger, liability there. But also there's all sorts of fumes that are gonna be coming off that could potentially be hazardous. Burning down houses. We're going to great lengths to ensure yeah. that we're doing this yeah. safely. Uh, this build, we have, uh, we have seven different glass cylinders. So we're gonna be building seven of these and then we need the little cups for the flammable liquid to be put in. And we're gonna be welding those out of uh, four inch round steel and some steel plates. Listen, if it's worth engineering, it's, it's worth, worth over engineering. There's a shirt.
table needs to be about a foot taller. Uh, we've done the build portion of our video. Okay. We're back. We have our two hemispheres of glass, a uh, glass cylinder that we've cut. We'll come back and talk about that in a second. Um, we've also made our fire cups out of some plate steel and some beautiful welding. <laughs> Be kind, welders. <laughs> yeah. We are not professional welders. But uh, this is this is a situation where I believe that the, the term or the phrase function is beauty is, yes. is very easily yes. applied. It wasn't the easiest build. In fact, I would say we've had a bunch of fails on this particular project that we didn't have on some of our, like the magnetic sculpture well, project. This this is a very repetitive build. I yeah. mean, we had, to, we had to build seven of these. These things don't like to exist. Their sole <laughs> desire is to break. All, it's all they want to do. It is in love with entropy. <laughs> yeah. So what did you use to cut these? So we used a tile saw to cut these. Uh, and in the, in the Backyard Scientist video that that I originally first saw this design in, uh, link in the description again. He, he used some sort of a clever angle grinder con contraption with some coolant that was coming out and, and it, looked, it looked extraordinarily hazardous. I just decided to bolt a couple of, like a guide essentially onto my tile saw and just run them down straight down that way. Uh, and it worked really well. Our goal was seven of these for the seven colors of the rainbow. We went through about 11 of them right. making to get the seven because they just want to break. Yes. This is our fire cup. Sure. So you took some, some plate steel and uh, some, some tube steel and you we cut it in one inch segments. I'd say the hardest part with this, we have a power hacksaw, bandsaw, mm -hmm. horizontal band, and the blade broke after we <laughs> used it a bunch of times and getting that thing back on was not a fun was endeavor. Was not fun. But cutting it was actually, you know, measured up one inch, set the saw. It's so go. pleasant. It's watching just, that thing do its job. The tree part was welding it mm -hmm. because unlike a tack weld or something like that, we had to make sure that the materials that we're gonna put inside this cup don't leak out. Exactly. So we had to, in one take, do a watertight weld. This is a watertight vessel, and that is all that we needed it to be. We're going to put flammable liquids into these cups, then we're gonna place these hemispheres of glass on either side, slightly offset it while it's flaming, and as the fire consumes the air, and as the heat rises, it's going to draw fresh air into these offset uh, cuts on the glass, which is gonna cause a spinning motion, which will cause the flame to spin up into a tornado. And so. Uh, the rest of the video is essentially the chemistry. Don't do this. Because this is fire, fire is dangerous, don't try this at home. I wanna do just a little demonstration proof of concept. So what we got here is a fuel line antifreeze and it burns with a yellow flame. So, there we go. Now, when you bring these hemicylinders, when you bring them together, it continues to burn the same way but the second you offset them just slightly, you get this. So we made an executive decision and we are going to bail on indigo because it's just kind of like a different kind of blue. We've got our six chemicals for the six Salt Lake City approved colors of the rainbow. <laughs> if you know how to make indigo, please let us know. Visually discernible color of indigo. Normally we talk on our way out, but this time we're gonna let the project speak for itself. Let's get these things set up and lit on fire. Sounds good.